Today we're taking a look at the Barnes TAC XPD defensive ammunition. Uh, this is going to be in 40 cal, 140 grain, uh, hollow point. It's Barnes' entry into the kind of world of self-defense pistol ammo. Uh, so we'll start out with what they are saying about it on the back of the box here. Barnes says, this is the optimized solution for personal and carry and home defense. Okay. Um, top uh, all copper bullet performance with less felt recoil and uh, quicker shot recovery so like everything Barnes does these bullets are frame here all copper um, there's no lead in these things at all that's kind of Barnes's thing with all their ammunition so 100% copper bullet if you're worried about lead you know great uh, as far as the Felt, less felt recoil and quicker shot, eh, kind of felt the same as, I'd say, I mean, it probably felt better than a lot of your self-defense ammo in 40, uh, it was, felt about the same as shooting kind of normal, like Winchester white box or something. Um, Technichrome plated cases for smooth feeding reliability and reduced muzzle flash. So, a lot of the kind of the same features uh, that you're going to see in, you know, your Hornady self-defense ammo, your gold dot. Things like that, nickel cases, and you know these ones have the added benefit of the copper. Uh, as usual, I took these rounds out, shot five through the chronograph and one into our ballistics gel here. Uh, I'll post the chronograph numbers up uh, so you guys can read them. But just looking at my phone here, the average was 1,074 feet per second. And on the box, we are advertising 1120 feet per second. So, a little slower uh, than the box. Not too bad. Uh, it's not the worst I've seen. And as always, the test gun was our Glock 22 here. Um, that's not bad uh, as far as advertised vice, you know, realistic. The 140 gram bullet is a little lighter than most companies are going for with the 40 cal. I think the standard I've seen is like 165 or 180. Uh, but that's going to help with your recoil and stuff like that, which is part of what their advertising is. So, getting into shooting it, uh, yeah, once again, I'll post all those numbers up. Uh, you guys can see the bullet is still in our block right here. Uh, I'm going to cut it out after I get done talking about it, and I'll throw some still photos in with the expansion, and I'll also note the uh, weight and diameter, everything like that. So, don't think I'm missing that. Uh, just taking a look at it. Penetration was go with 11 and a quarter inches to the leading tip of the bullet there, and this is a really interesting one to shoot. So uh, I'll throw the inset footage in from the slow mo of it shooting. Um, really good temporary cavity and an awesome permanent cavity. Um, I don't know if you guys can see or how well you can see. So it enters here, and after about an inch really expands and between an inch and I'll just get the tape measure out so between an, uh, one inch and about six and a half inches there is a very nice permanent cavity which is actually kind of a spiral striation pattern matching what's on the bullet or looks like it's on the bullet through the gel um, that permanent cavity is big for a 40 cal uh, it's honestly kind of on par with the permanent cavity I've seen on a lot of 45s. So, very good, very good. Um, bullet didn't go through the block. I'm not too worried about that, I think, for most self-defense situations. 11 inches is enough to get get the job done. And honestly, if you're, depending on the scenario, it's preferable to over-penetration. If you're around a crowd of people, or there's a lot of bystanders, or something behind you, um, I think this is actually a good option for kind of those situations where you might not want something that's going to go through 17 inches of gel. Um, yeah, overall my thoughts on this stuff, it's priced pretty much on par with every other, you know, higher end self-defense ammo, Hornady, things like that. I think it's a good option. I think if you're carrying 40, this is 
very good. It fed well. It shot reliably. The one downside I would say to it, and I'm not even sure you guys are going to be able to see this, is with these bullets, they have a huge hollow point in there. With it, it gets a little thin on the rim. And this was the round that got fed out of the magazine but not shot. You can see it divoted the bullet a bit and kind of caved that hollow point in. Just a hair. I don't think it's going to affect performance, but it's something to note. Um, gosh, I mean, there really wasn't, honestly, much else to say. This was a really good round. Um, if you've watched my other videos, you've seen I kind of had problems with a lot of stuff. Getting clogged up with denim, everything from... Corbons to some of the Hornady, I mean, everything, and the Barnes went through it like a champ, the four layers of denim, and threw into the block with great performance, so if you're carrying a 40, and you haven't looked at the Barnes TAC XPD yet, do it, it's, from what I've seen, a really good round. Hopefully this has been helpful, and if it has, go ahead and like or subscribe to the channel. Thanks.